Um, welcome to Out and About with Tony and Diane for Glean TV for MediaCom. And here we are again, folks. And yeah, you. if you can't tell by her waving and the red, white, and blue and the tiara and all that, today we're going to talk specifically about a major, major event in Streeter that's an annual thing. Well, except last year. What? Because of COVID. We what, a year, what a difference a year has right. made. Last we keep year, saying that. We keep saying that with every show. What a difference a year makes. Because, oh, right, right. But it so affects every little thing. Every that's true. Well, right. that's true. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it. a good point. I mean, now I get it. Yeah, okay, I get thank it. you. I do get it. I do. So, I mean, it has affected everything. And every show yeah. we've done this year starts out with what a difference a year makes. Because I've been in my place for everyone. Yeah, that's a switch too, yeah, right? Switch. We haven't had to hunt you down. Switch. But um, so this year, but um, last year we were canceling everything. We had we Randy were. Dominic on here. We were canceling. We did. Things. We did. And we had to walk. Correct. Correct. And people and were sad. They were. We were sad. And we are very happy that this year, yay, 4th of July celebration is back, bigger and better than ever. Um, I know that everything that was, I mean, there, all the bands that were lined up and everything are on board and it's just like we're, and we're, we're having a carnival. And thing. we're having a okay. carnival. All right. and, and I know some things about it and you know some things about it, but the man who knows everything and give you the bottom line is Mr. Randy Dominic, and he's our guest today. So come on in, pull up with us. A rose between oh, two thorns again. <laughs> this poor <laughs> guy, he doesn't oh, care. Right. Right. So, um, welcome so, to Out and About, Randy. Thank yes, you. Again. Thank you for having <laughs> me. Thank you for being with us again. We're happy to have you. So, getting back to it. So, this year, a lot of things are changing in regards to our Fourth of July celebration. And um, so I think maybe we should address some of those issues and things and why the changes are happening, what they are, first right. of all. Um, and I think um, there's been a lot of talk, tele-talk, mm -hmm. um, about right. it. And some people are ecstatic and think it's a great idea. And some people are very disappointed in the, what's happening. I think a lot of people are misinformed also. They hear a little Good rumor point. and then it goes, right. yes. what's that old thing we used to play? Telephone. Yeah, telephone. telephone. Right. You hear a little rumor and then somebody adds a couple words to it. And then you've got yeah, this yeah. big rumor. And so we want to put rumors to rest, Randy. So okay. we'll stop talking. We'll let you talk. So you tell us what's happening this year and what are the biggest um, new things that people should be aware of. OK. Well, I think first we just got to have to kind of lead into, you know, um, the 4th of July. You know, I, I'm a veteran. There's a lot of veterans that are on committee. Thank you. Um, you know, we, we definitely value patriotism and the 4th of July. But the harsh reality is in a smaller community to have the caliber 4th of July celebration we have, we have to be away from that date. Um, or we're not going to be able to get the quality of carnival that we have, the amount of food vendors, the entertainment that we bring in is more of a prime um, cost on that Fourth of July weekend. It, you know, yeah, yes. they're not like your little neighborhood bands. Correct. Correct. <laughs> yeah. And you're competing with larger metropolitan areas. Correct, and, and even other smaller communities. Right. So, you know, the, really the weekend after the 4th of July really does work out well because we're the only game in town. There's, you know, the Grundy County Fair is no longer running. Ottawa and Peru both have fireworks. Uh, Hennepin, Sheridan, Shanoa. I mean, you can go see fireworks anywhere Henry, on that weekend. Henry, Henry, Henry still does Correct. Yeah, okay. Correct. So, there, I mean, there's a lot of places that you can, you can go watch fireworks. And um, for the, the quality of the fireworks show that we've became famous for here in Streeter, we had to make some changes. And unfortunately, COVID led us to some of those changes. Um, so you I, had no choice in the situation? With the fireworks, yes. Okay. Um, the fireworks were originally scheduled for July 3rd at the high school field. Um, and then we got notice that the school board was not going to lift their COVID restrictions oh. till possibly their July meeting, um, which would be after the fireworks. Afterwards. Okay. So, um, it would have been very restrictive on who could have been down there. Um, and we really want to put together a, a fantastic show that everybody can benefit from. So when you say like a COVID precaution or whatever it would be, is that same like 25% people could come or something like that? Correct, correct. Type of thing? Okay. And, and there's okay. no way you can decide who can who come, come in and who can't. Right. Oh, okay. Where's the rest of the money come from? 
it really comes from sponsors. We have a lot of good sponsors in town. Um, we're still looking for more sponsors, of course, and the rest comes either through donations or um, the auto lotto, that, the old auto lotto raffle, which we have now rethemed Liberty Dollars. Liberty Dollars. Yeah. That money really helps fund the fireworks. Okay. Um, and, and I'll be honest with everybody, I think we should be transparent. Um, in 2019, we put on a $36,000 fireworks show that year at the high school field, and we had probably 5,000 people at the high school field. We only received thirteen hundred dollars back in donation buckets. And you spent wait, you spent what? Thirty six thousand. Thirty six thousand dollars. Five thousand people, and they gave thirteen hundred came back. And, wow. And, and wow. I, I think part of it could be a misconception that the city funds it, um, or their tax dollars go to it, but that is absolutely not the or case. Or a big company is putting it on. Correct. Right. Correct. Or people are donating the fireworks wow. are free. You just have them. I just, right. I just sat back in my chair. That so the big thing that I mean, biggest, biggest change this year is the location from the high, from the high school field to Anderson Field for the fireworks display. Correct. And there's been a lot of talk about that, and there's also a lot of talk about the split weekend. Um, with some things happening on the weekend of the fourth, and other things happening the following weekend. And there's um, just a lot of people who are unsure of why these things are happening. And you know, people like to talk. Yeah. So, yeah. can you fill us in? So, what we talked about the change from the high school, but why Anderson Field? Um, really, it was the only uh, other location that is big enough for the shot location. You have to have 70 feet for every inch of shell that's fired in a fireworks display, and nobody can be in that area. So, 70 feet radius? 70 so feet fire... radius for every inch of shell, and we, sh we fire up to a 10 inch shell. So we have to have a, a 700 foot radius that nobody can be in that fallout area. Whoa. We're trying to do all that we can to make this fireworks viewing experience spectacular. Right. I mean, we really want to have the best show. Um, and there was a couple other factors that went into this. Um, when we toured the fireworks uh, company, um, you know, they are overbooked on the 3rd or 4th of July. They have no shows the following weekend and they offered us a big percentage. Now this percentage didn't go in money, but it went in product. So this $40,000 show that we're gonna have this year is really gonna be about a $47,000 show. Well, I was just, just running some numbers this morning that made me a little nervous that <laughs> I think we're going to be spending, uh, now we do get revenue back from certain locations also, but the cost to put on this year's celebration is breaking $200,000. People don't wow. realize the cost. We could never pull that off if we're on the weekend of the third and fourth. Wow. Um, we're just not gonna get to, it, we're, we're competing with too many places. We could have a nice 4th of July celebration, but it would be a very small celebration with either a very small carnival or no carnival. Um, we wouldn't have national music acts. I mean, for something this spectacular, um, it, it, it really took thinking outside the box to make it work. Wow. And we've been growing every every year. And the reason I put so much time and effort into this is, this is my hometown. And I know a lot of us that grew up in Streeter don't have a lot that we can boast about, about Streeter. Um, everybody thinks that Streeter's got this, this stigma to it, Bad rap, yeah. right? But we all know that live here, this is one of the most giving and generous and hardworking communities Absolutely. that you're gonna find. Yep. And I do it because I love to hear people boast about Streeter. Right. And this is something that we're given to boast about. And probably the best compliment we ever received was people from Ottawa talking about how this far su 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 um, surpassed, <laughs> uh, edit that, <laughs> on how it far surpassed Ottawa's River Fest. And that was people from Ottawa saying wow. that. Wow. Right, that's cool. It's nice. Let's talk about the celebration itself. So the celebration begins actually on July 3rd. Correct. Okay. Which, Which is, is a Saturday. 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 Okay. Correct. Okay. And so tell us what's happening on the 3rd and the 4th. It'll be just the two days, just the weekend, right? Correct. Correct. Okay. And it, it's just going to be morning and afternoon activities. Um, that way if people want to go to Ottawa or Peru or Chinoa or Henry, Henry to watch fireworks, 
they can, mm -hmm. um, or if they just want to be on the boat on the water that weekend, which I know a lot of people do on Fourth of July weekend. Mm -hmm. um, we'll have some activities in the park. Um, we're going to kick off on Saturday with the Kids' Corner, which in fact, uh, Tony and Cinda are cheering up this year for us. Um, and we'll have Kids' Corner in the park with a lot of interactive activities for the children. We'll have more information coming out soon on our website and Facebook page. Yeah. Um, and then at noon, we, were gonna, we will have a polka band. Um, right. A famous polka band, no yes. doubt, in, this, in the southwest Chicago region. It's um, Eddie Corosa and his boys from Illinois. And he's a big hit in the Joliet area and throughout South um, Chicago. Land. I and love a polka and, band. Um, yeah, he's pretty popular in Streeter. He's played here before. And so that's kind of a cool thing. Well, come on and roll out your barrel, people! <laughs> <laughs> and and um, we will have a cookout in the city park. We will be a good old fashioned cookout. Yes, we'll have oh, a cookout cool. in the park. So, but I think the Friday and Saturday, well, the 5K run is on Saturday morning at 8 a.m. Corner and barbecue is on the third. Third, which is Saturday. Sunday is the run for glory. Correct. That takes place in the morning, and then. The polka band is on Sunday. No. No. Saturday. It's Saturday. I'm so confused. Sunday. I'm on the committee. <laughs> Sunday. It's hard to keep it all straight. This is a this is living proof of how <laughs> how not easy that job is. <laughs> Sunday we will have uh, we will have the IBC C yes. jazz band right. on Ooh. stage, and they were a big hit last time we brought oh. them in. And really, what we're trying to do this weekend is get something for the older people that might not like the rock and country music acts that we have out at North Point, give them an opportunity to have at something. at the city park. At the city park, well, under the beautiful, beautiful. Show, the beautiful stage in the city beautiful. park. Beautiful. Well, yeah. <laughs> so Sunday morning will be the race at 8 a.m. and that starts in this, it starts and ends at the city park. Okay. Um, noon, um, the IVCC jazz band will play. Um, at, they'll take a break at 1 p.m. and we will have the kids bicycle parade. Oh, that's in great. the city park. Oh my goodness, yeah. we haven't had a bicycle parade in Streeter for like ever. No, this and then the jazz band will uh, will will continue to play, and from noon to about three thirty, we're going to also have a an old fashioned ice cream social with pie and ice cream in the city mm -hmm. park as well. Wow. And then by three thirty, well, our activities will be done. So if people again want to go watch fireworks another night in another community, um, they can do so. I believe Ottawa's. Or uh, Saturday the or Sunday the fourth, Peru's are Saturday the third. So there's there's yeah. places we can see a lot of fireworks. Yep. Yep. There you go. Yep. And then and then the best one, of course, <laughs> any the next we can go see them. Right. And then save the best. Save the save best the best for last. last. There you I go. guarantee you, this is going to be the best show that we streeters ever seen. So. So uh, you got excited. Saturday and Sunday in the city park. Then you kind of take a break Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday begin the activities well, at we've, North Point, correct? We've actually decided since we didn't have a 2020 that we are going to add an extra day. So Monday and Tuesday we will be working hard to get North Point trans so, transformed okay. into okay. A, a fair atmosphere out there. All right. um, but we are going to open Wednesday at 5 p.m. this year. Okay. Well there you go, you heard it here first folks. Cool! Breaking news! We are going to have, um, to kick things off, we will have the Red, White, Blue and You talent competition oh. um, at North Point on Wednesday evening. Oh, that's, that's... I think I can learn to tap dance by then. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> there's some real talented people there. And they yes. come from outside the area. Right. Many people. Yeah. And then, we're, we're kind of calling this sneak a peek night because oh, I don't I think, think we're going to have this on... The main stage won't be ready yet, but we got a second stage that we're going to have this on. And uh, when the talent competition's over, we're going to have uh, the Chicago Land area's favorite party band that is family friendly. We'll have Libido Funk Circus on stage. Oh, wow! Oh, for yes. 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 I hear the audience in the background. Yeah, yes. buddy. Yes. So yeah. we really feel that Wednesday will be a good family day for the sneak a peek night. Oh, um, that's fun. But Oh, okay. we, we will have, I mean, the beer tent will still be open. We'll have food vendors. The carnival, everything will be operational Wednesday night for Sneak a Peak Night. And then Thursday, we'll start the, the national music headliners, which wow. uh, Thursday night um, is, is retro 80s night. 
so oh. we have 80s bush. Have Breeders hair. own 80s we have bush. Have big hair. Yeah, yeah. yeah 80s there bush will kick it off. Oh, wow. Everybody loves that. And then, are, yeah. then we'll have um, um, national music artists Enough's Enough. And then the headliner is, she started in the Runaways with Joan Jett and then went solo, Lita Ford. Well, that's uh, a big hit. There, there you go. Big. Yeah. We're not fooling around. No, no. no. So this is no yeah. rinky, this is no rinky dink festival, folks. Top no. notch. And then Friday night is is country night, and uh, um, we have um, the area's own breaking storm opening that night. And then we have a great up and comer, Troy Cartwright, is a direct support artist that night. Um, he's just been out with a new album as well. Okay. And then the headliner that night is the Grammy Award winning Joe Nichols, who just put out a, a new song called Home Run. Okay. Wow! Oh my gosh! I got so you know you're not fooling around. You got Grammy Award winners. This is not you know your. I mean these are. Maybe I'll you mention us on the Grammys next time. Right. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> and then. It's right with place to play. Yeah. And then Saturday, um, Saturday, um, and I should say Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Everything out of North Point will open at 5 p.m. Okay. On Saturday and Sunday, it'll open at 1 p.m. Okay. And, and Saturday, um, we've got four uh, music acts lined up. So Saturday is going to be a really good day, I what think. It's a rock yes. and roll day. It's a rock and roll day. Right. We've got uh, a band out of Iowa that are on tour right now with the National Music Act. Um, and they are phenomenal. It's a father and daughter. Oh. The father's a lead guitarist, the daughter's a lead singer. For anybody who knows the band Hailstorm, she sounds just like Lizzie Hale from Hailstorm. Oh my heavens. And then we have um, Burden of the Sky. Actually, there's a street right in this band. They're oh. now in Bloomington, and they've had a few albums out. Uh, they've got a great following. And then national uh, music artist Adelita's Way. And then the headliner that night is Buck Cherry, who just came out with a cool. brand new album. Cool. I I recognize their names, and they're not necessarily. I'm into. I forgot on Wednesday night before the talent competition, we will crown little Miss Sparkler, oh, Mr. Oh, Firecracker. Oh, you need a tiara. <laughs> <laughs> but we do. But well, she had not that to everybody. Right. We her to give up her crown. And anybody wants to see the, 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 the children that are in the running for Little Miss Sparkler and Mr. Firecracker, well, we will have the donation buckets at Ace and Kroger's here soon. Just keep watching the Facebook page or our website for more information. Website streetersforth.org. The uh, Facebook page is Streeters uh, Fourth of July, a celebration. And um, then to wrap things up on Sunday, of course, Sunday's Parade Day. And, um, so it'll be the downtown parade. The downtown parade. Normal parade route, leaving the depot, and the theme of this year's parade is going to be honoring our frontline heroes. Sunday, then um, the, the parade. Okay, yeah, we, got we will the have track. the emergency vehicles will be in the front of the parade as, as we've done the last few years, and then we'll have the emergency vehicle show out in the parking lot of North Point, outside the carnival. And that is. And then uh, Sunday, it, we're back to another country day but it's a little more um, modern country. Um, we will have the Joe Stam band, which okay. is a real big up and comer. He just really came good. out with a second really album. Um, Craig Gertis. Craig Gertis was on tour with Aaron Lewis for quite a while. Great. We have Greg, Craig Gertis coming back to Streeter. Um, <coughs> fantastic performer. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the headliner that night is Colt Ford. And like I said, Colt mm -hmm. Ford's new uh, songs being released uh, this fr this, this Friday. This Friday, how cool yeah. is that? No one's going to be allowed on Amos and Fields. Um, this fireworks company does multiple golf courses a year. Oh. They don't damage golf courses, especially with it being all aerial. Oh, I can you tell? <laughs> right. If we're doing low ground stuff like we used to do on the high school field, yes, that is not good for the ground. But we're not doing that out there. Okay. It's going to be all aerial. Like I said, 300 feet in the air is going to be the smallest firework you're going to see in the sky. So, so. all you golfers can rest easy. Rest easy. Relax. The fire department will be on hand. They'll be watering, I think, the yep. surrounding areas, areas to and make sure everything is wet. Street and Grand Ridge, will, fire departments will be on site. Well, there um, you go. Communities working together for um, us to have a celebration. Yep. Um, Brandon Urbans, the new owner of Eastwood, is graciously uh, allowed any um, membership holder for Anderson Fields that wants to golf that weekend 
to go golf. Um, he'll honor their membership at Eastwood that weekend. So there's no the golf course is actually going to be closed Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. You know, Saturday, Sunday, oh. and po possibly Monday, depending on how much we get of the fireworks racks we get picked okay. up on. Okay. So for the golf course, yeah. yep, absolutely. We're out, we're out and about in Streeter. This is Tony and Diane for Lee TV signing off. We'll see you next time for MediaCom. Thank you again, Randy, for being uh, here. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, wait, I'm going to do my parade wave. I might be in the parade. Come on, maybe. Hey, try. Let's do this. Step up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, all right. See ya. Bye. Bye.